Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today, what we are doing is, um, I've been asked a lot of times, like, how do you play this game? How is this game, like, playable? What are you doing? Um, you know, kind of like the strategies and whatnot. So I figured, I was like, well, you know what? I probably should make a video on how to play Town of Salem. So the people that, you know, play Elder Scrolls or Call of Duty or, you know, other games with me, they kind of understand how to play this game. And kind of see like you know that this is a really fun game um, when you actually know what you're doing so uh, first things first this is just an introductory of like the interface of this game so we're gonna start with customization options so you have um, you can basically create um, you know characters there's characters that you can have um, you can you know get <clears throat> one of these characters um, I mean it's it depends you can just leave it and uh, same with pets if you know I don't have a pet I don't really care for pets um, and then the houses are like what the houses you see in when you go into the game and then the maps is basically the 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 maps that you kind of see when you go into the games uh, and your own particular thing um, but um, I definitely like the high roller game uh, that's it's pretty fun and pretty scary but um, then there you go then there you have the death animations um, you can do a blast off pixelate guillotine splat you know whatnot and then the lobby icons so if you have a specific lobby icon um, that you can put like the default one is this one and you can just put anyone I have like a little werewolf one um, it's not loading up as much, so it's pretty good. And then um, one cool thing is the name up here. You can actually put, you know, we're just going to leave it like that and uh, kind of put, you know, the name that you want. Now, here is on this side right here. These are the scrolls. Now, I don't know how many scrolls you come in whenever you, um, you start the game fresh off. But eventually, like, you're going to earn scrolls if you buy, like, some of the packs that they use. They, like, sell you 99-cent packs and you get, like, three of every scroll or some weird stuff like that. Um, well, here, you can actually equip the scrolls. So, if you're, like, going for a specific achievement or, you know, want to play a certain character, uh, a certain role, you can actually, like, do that. You can you can equip the scrolls now this doesn't mean that when the wheel rolls like you have a higher chance to get these but that doesn't mean that you're always going to get them um, you know it's for example I think I have a, do I have a juggernaut one in here yeah I have 33 juggernauts that's a really hard one to get um, if you want to play a juggernaut you're obviously gonna have to play um, put some scrolls on um, but you can you can get it you know just normally so there you go. I'm gonna, um, and then this is your profile. Basically, um, you can buy the Steam Premium, the Coven, which is an expansion. I highly suggest to buy that because that's pretty fun. And then you have the Web Premium. So I'm, I'm playing it on the website. And then you actually have codes that you can give to your friends. And same, you know, you have scrolls here. You can buy the scrolls, you can buy taunts. Um, this is your name change if you you want to buy a name change you can and it tells you you know your your stuff um, This is where your friends list are and these are notifications here. You can add a friend um, You know if you have notifications Blah 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 and then you know mute sound effects and not mute sound effects and Here you have your settings and notifications and such Okay I personally do not worry too much about what's in this particular area um, but if you want to buy you know if you have a little coins and you want to buy some of the feature items um, like this you know steam uh, steam purchase you know steam bot 3000 stuff like that you can do that but you don't really have to um, on this one is the daily brew so what the daily brew is is um, I think you need coins in order to you know get some of the daily brews but um you have a chance to get like a character or a house or you know like something so 
Uh, here it is. Every day that you log into the town of Salem, you can visit the cauldron by clicking the daily brew button. The cauldron awards character skins, pets, houses, maps, lobby icons, all kinds of stuff. And it says here, yes, the cauldron can award town points only item. So anything that you can purchase with town points is going to be the one that you can that you can get. Um, if you choose to specialize your brew by purchasing a potion using town points, the the special potion enhances your cauldron to ensure you receive a certain kind of prize on the seventh day. So you don't have to. These potions are optional. But if you wish to, like, say, hey, I really want a house, you can actually get a house. And if you really want a pet, you can actually get a pet. And every item that is available via the, the potions can also be received via the default brew. So just because you're getting a potion doesn't mean that you cannot get it, um, you know, if you just use the regular brew. However, the regular brew is random where the potion, you're going to be given that specific uh, character, pet, death animation, blah, blah, blah. If you already own um, all the items in a category, this is the best thing. The cauldron is not going to let you purchase those um, that potion for that item, so that's pretty awesome. That way, you know, people are like, oh, I don't, I don't really care for it. Um, you know, if they don't know, and they're like, oh, oops, I purchased this. I already have this. Well, no, it's not gonna let you do that. Now, this is the shop. This is where you can purchase town points, character skin, housing, all kinds of stuff. Um, you can, you know skedaddle in there uh these are friend referrals obviously um you know if you <laughs> if you uh you know want to give some of the codes to your friends that's fine these are the achievements so these are the achievements that i already have um but obviously you know if you for example like the ambusher i haven't won 10 games in ambusher yet uh, i haven't ambushed a werewolf wolf or ambush a doctor or ambush a pestilence so it's just achievements that you can actually get with town of salem and then these are your stats so my general stats i've played 587 casual games i've won 333 of them um i've played 34 career totals i've won 17 of them um and it's just your your rank stuff um you know town number of wins with bodyguards number of wins with doctor and basically all that number one with mayor i've won 10 games with mayor jesus um i have not won any games with vampire hunter that's and unfortunately and there you go and same with coven you know whatnot okay so there we go we have this and this down now when you hit the play button this is gonna show you um you can go play classic rank practice rank these are customs or rapid modes where the rapid mode is has a much faster discussion and the night phases are a lot quicker and then you can play chaos chaos you have all any so in this chaos game that means there's not a set number of roles um so for example like let me just see how it's just any 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 and then if we were to play classic, oh, hold on. Oh my goodness. You see how there's specific roles? Then there you go. You're gonna have specific roles in some of these games and then some are not specific roles. Uh, and rainbow is just a little bit of everything. There's like uh, neutral killings, there's towns, there's mafia, all kinds of stuff. In Dracula's Palace, you have vampires um, as well that take over the town. Um, town trader, you have a town member has gone over to the to the side of the mafia. Um, I am gonna make separate videos on how to play specific modes. Um, I will try to get some Rainbow and Dracula's Palace's matches in there, but I cannot guarantee because those don't really fill up that fast. I'm also going to get a classic game on there. That way, you can kind of see. Now let's we switch over to Coven. So if you you can switch back to Classic over here, 
And you have Common Classic, you have Ranked Practice, Ranked, and then Mafia Returns. So this one is basically, um, I'll show you guys. You're going to have uh, specific roles, but with uh, Mafia as well in there. So let me... So you're going to have Mafia um, stuff. And then Coven Customs, choose from any classic or Coven roles. So you can actually choose. Coven All Any, that's the same thing as All Any. It's just you have, you can be any roles. Like there's there can be three transporters or three um, um, doctors or, you know, three uh, Mafia members. Like it can be any, like they can be two consigs or two ambushers or two, you know, whatnot. Now this this VIP mode. Um, here's the thing. This is a rotating game. Every Tuesday at 10 a.m., there's gonna be a different kind of mode. Um, I will put it. I will put these out as they come out. There is a Town Trader for Coven as well, which is kind of like the uh, Town Trader in regular, but it's a little bit different. Um, there's some strategies that are a little bit different. Uh, but, um, you know, I, once that comes out, I will put a video on that. Um, but this mode right here, this is VIP mode. I will make a video this weekend on this because you need to know what this is. I don't know if I'll take it out this weekend, but I will, uh, I will definitely make a video before they change it. Um, this mode is town versus coven. So you're going to have a town member that is randomly selected to be the VIP. If the VIP dies, then the town loses completely if the vip lives and you kill all the coven or hang them you uh you win you have a pirate in this you have uh four coven members and then you have a pirate but like i said we will go more in depth um in that mode whenever um we make that video so there you go Here's some rules. Uh, don't use hate speech. You know, that's harassing, threatening, attacking, or shaming members. Then, you know, it's 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 a no-no. Um, don't post URLs. <laughs> no game throwing. So intentionally losing the game or hurting your team's chances of winning, even if that team is just you, is game throwing. Intentionally going against your role's goal is also game throwing. So, for example... Here you go. A Mafia member dies and in, in his last will, he reveals the name of all the living Mafia members. If those names are true, then you are game throwing. If they are false, then you are not. For example, too, a vigilante or jailer killing a reveal mayor is game throwing. So if you're a Vigi or a jailer and you're like, oh, you know, I'm going to get you your mate. You know, the mayor is game throwing. Now, there's certain examples where that is okay to do, um, but I will show you guys, and that's in Town Trader. I'm going to show you guys those later. And uh, if there's vampires involved and all any, then that is when you can actually kill a mayor, a reveal mayor, because sometimes they are not a mayor, but they're a vampire mayor, and, and then there you go. Um, spamming, disrupting the chat, just similar matches. Basically, you guys know what spam is. Um, and then no cheating. Do not attempt to gain an unfair advantage. Um, a lot of the times, uh, people share information outside the game using Skype or Discord, using a foreign language to communicate that cannot be understood by the other players, or using just bots or hacks. Do not do that. Um, if you're going to play with somebody on Discord, that's fine. Um, but if you're a mafia member or a coven member and your buddy is a town you know just don't tell him your name don't tell him your role um now after you both die you can say hey you know this is what i'm this is what i am or this is what i was or um yeah this is you know or once you die and your buddy's still alive you can say yeah this this was me however please do not let them know anything that can be um, taking advantage of the game. So you could say, oh, uh, you know, this was me. Oh, there's only like two more Mafia members. No, don't do that. Don't say that. They don't need to know. That's an advantage that the person has over, you know, somebody else. 
Now, if, if it's already known there's only two Mafia members left, you know, because there's a spy or, or whatnot, if it's, like, a 100% sure thing, then that's fine, you know, but they already know that. Um, do not use an inappropriate name. And then do not leave a match during live play. Um, obviously, people do that all the time. It's, it's okay. You have lives. Um, and then do not leave your computer for an extended time during live gameplay. Uh, people are like, eh, whatever. Do not impersonate uh, a black media games employee or pretend to be an employee. Do not claim to have power to punish people. Uh, if you try to log in the game while suspended, or ban it will show a timer for tier one to three suspension or you say you're banned permanent ban the punishment length timer starts upon the next players uh, players next long in attempt so if you're 24 hour suspension you're you're tier one you're suspended for day three two three days uh tier three uh one week and then tier four you're completely banned so there you go um that's pretty much it on this um I hope you guys, you know, will come and play this game with me later now seeing, um, you know, how to, I guess, navigate this. I would highly suggest you start in Classic first if um, if you're doing anything. But like I said, if you want, um, I will be posting videos every day this week to show you certain game modes and kind of how to play them. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe, um, you know. Get, get that subscribe button in there and get that like and just kind of go in there, okay? Or if not, I will come get you. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Holla, ho.